All right, there she is in all her glory. Platinum, silver, German race car color, metallic, go fast engine. I uh, sourced all of the baffle parts. I have small baffle parts, big cooling baffle parts, but the first thing they tell you is to start on the ignition. And I'm looking at the manual that I printed originally. We printed originally when we bought the plane, and I looked at the manual that I printed a few months ago, and uh, was kind of confused on where to start. Like, this is nowhere to be mentioned. I have all these parts. I have these parts that came. I have this labeled uh, new ignition that came uh, February of this year, I have more ignition brackets here, and basically just started wrapping my head around how this all goes. But that big bracket is nowhere to be found here, and there's nowhere to be found in the other one. But once again, went online and downloaded the RANS one, and look, lo and behold, there it is. So I also downloaded the new... Um, I don't know, text manual part, just those few pages, I printed them out. And that'll be a good uh, good thing to get going. All right, for now though, good night. All right, it's making more sense now. <clears throat> First thing I did was make uh, these spacers. 0.8125, which ends up being 13 sixteenths, which is somewhere between three quarter and seven eighths. So I did that in my traditional way of drilling a 3 8 inch perpendicular hole in a piece of wood and then just running them through the table saw. And what I also like is that I can take the ends and just file them flat so I know they're, <clears throat> they're square. I had one actually left over from old stock that was just about the same size. So I actually have four of them, but I only need three. Now I'm gonna, uh, I cleaned all this up, deburred it and Polished it a little bit, make it look pretty, and I'm putting on all the big uh, nut plates with the little uh, one eighth inch. No, oh, these are number 40 rivets. Sorry. All right, back to work. Got those all on and trying to get these things in, but I got to move this fuel line. It needs to be modified a little bit. So probably move that over here bend it hopefully without breaking it so yeah I put it on the other side of the uh, cushion clamp and kind of massaged it out here and then it goes back in some of that was there some of it I did this one here I wrapped it around some of my little plastic things there and tried to get a contouring bend that looks like it's supposed to be and then it goes back over here I also bent this down this one here was kind of a bear this one was going straight into that coil pack but uh, I put all the plugs on and uh, they don't even come close now so I feel pretty confident that that's gonna work good and there's no tension on it um, got these little guys in put some torque seal on it and that will conclude tonight's project Buenas noches